fella. We could be that mistake. Let's do this. What it do, y'all? What's going on, guys? We're embracing suck 21. Yes, we are. I'm Spencer. And I'm Daniel. And today we have got what might be my <laughs> most anticipated yeah. episode of Idiot Abroad yet. I, I can't wait to see what Carl is going to think about this the good old us of a route 66 uh, a full disclosure i have never driven on route 66 before um you have right you live in virginia isn't there a 66 uh, but that's that's route 66 the classic route 66. oh yeah okay uh you know chicago to southern california not i-66 yeah, I like, in I virginia because <laughs> yeah. f that place yeah Totally. Yeah, don't. Yeah, you want to. You want to ruin a, a a life. They should have sent him to that sixty six. Yeah, yeah, or just the DC metropolitan <laughs> area. Yeah. <laughs> but it's it's gonna be interesting because you know how they have their ways of messing with him, uh-huh. right? We have some parts of this country that uh-huh. are very. Oh you yeah. Don't, you don't. Oh yeah. You don't mess with send them. foreign ambassadors to. Right. Exactly. <laughs> you know we've. Reacted to a lot of British culture, like a mm-hmm. lot of how they do things. Now we'll be now we're gonna see how one of our favorite Brits, Carl Pilkinson, reacts to our way of doing things. Yeah, and we're gonna see how insane it really is. Yeah, like, is it crazy? Is it something that like he's like, what the hell's going on? And we're like, oh, I guess that is kind of weird. Yeah, yeah, it's like Top Gear run out of Alabama. That, yeah, that one. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, let's just dive in. Let's man. do it, man. Along Route 66. What is it? Just driving down it, having a look. Well, it's just, it's a it's a long one. It's um two and a half thousand miles. One of America. Disneyland. Went some past some fruit on a boat. Three old women getting excited about an eggplant. Woo! Whooping. Now I sort of think, am I miserable? You've got a question. Uh, I've got an answer. Yeah, you're fucking miserable. <laughs> I know, but I think I get I get excited. I think you should get excited about. Okay, what was the last thing you got excited about? <laughs> smile, smile, just smile, just fake it. No, fake, do a smile. See, you don't know what you, you don't know what that feels like. Do you? That's odd to you. No, let's show your teeth. Yeah, yeah. That looks weird. Doesn't really it? weird. I've never that seen looks, it before. That looks weird. It looks weird. <laughs> so, Route 66. You must have heard of that. Yeah, a car without a roof on it, right. driving along. Yeah. Sun sort of there, shades. Right there, you go. Get your kicks on Route 66. Off you go. <laughs> yeah. So, like, yeah, we we are quite an excitable bunch, us Americans. We do. I, I I've seen like in comments before in other videos, we you overuse the words awesome and excellent, and yeah. say like, it's good. And maybe it was Carl that said it. I I, I, yeah, I but I I agree. But we 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 gotta be. Yeah. We. Uh, it's just. Uh, uh, it's a good way to live life. It is. It is. It's a. It's fun. It's an optimistic way. Yeah. That we're very. We're a very optimistic bunch. Yeah, we are. <laughs> to quote Al Murray, uh, the reason Brits don't have that is because they're awake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let's let's see. It's just a road. It's tarmac. It's a road with cars on it. It's like any other road. Hey. That- One more thing. You know what I don't see? Snacks. Right. Because he knows where he's going. Yeah. We got the best snacks. <laughs> we got the snacks, bro. Yeah. Just type, <laughs> after this video, type in, Brits try American snacks. Thank us later. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't I, I don't think Americans come over here and go, oh, where's the M1? I can't wait to get on the M1. Of course not. Is it the first road over there? The first proper road? First one across America? Everyone thinks the M1 is our first motorway, but it isn't. M6, Preston Bypass, that's the first motorway in the UK. But no one, you don't hear people going on about it. <coughs> you don't get excited and going on the M6 tomorrow, are you? Lucky bastard. It doesn't happen. <laughs> Comment below, what is what is appealing about the M6? So is that there? when we go over there, we know what to look for. Well, I remember, uh, like, in, 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 I guess, in retrospect... Route 66 is what, 2,000 miles? Yeah, it's basically from Chicago to like, Southern California, uh, Barstow, wherever that town is. Uh, yeah, I still don't know. What the f- 
<laughs> Santa Monica, yep. Right, well this is it then, isn't it? I'm in uh, California. Nice, isn't it? This bit here, the pier, is, uh, that's the start of Route 66. And then I think it goes that way <laughs> for miles. It's all right beach though, isn't it? This is me, this. Loads of room. Not as clean as I thought it would be. There's pigeons knocking about, which you don't see on Baywatch. <laughs> Baywatch is your reference point. Thank you very much, mate. Hope you arrived safely. I know you want a nice little convertible, so I've sorted you one out. Just head over to your hotel, and the keys are on reception. All right? Have a good drive. See you later. See, that'd be good if I get, like, a Hummer or uh, <laughs> any of these, if it's got air con. <laughs> Can't argue, can I? I asked for a convertible. Listen, that is terrifying. That is, uh, okay, like, uh, when you talk about it, like a uh, intercontinental highway. Yeah. Intercontinental. Uh, a massive highway. Interstate highway. Interstate highway. Interstate. It's an interstate. Yeah. Are you just now putting that together? Yeah. I'm, I'm, <laughs> um, I never needed to before. This is the first time I needed to. So, yeah, I just put that together. <laughs> interstate. Why is it called Interstate? Oh, got it. Um, they're massive trucks. Uh-huh. You are literally the smallest thing on the road. Yes, you are. Like, even small cars are bigger than that thing. Yeah. That is a Pope Mobile. Yeah. Even my sedan is bigger than that. Yeah. And I, and I, you pick those out of your truck's grill. Yeah. That That is, that is, that is a speed bump. Yeah. That's that. Carl is a sitting duck in that thing, like. And those trucks, those trucks don't go slow, man. No, they don't. <laughs> they no, don't go they slow. don't. They got some. And they don't have patience. They got some horsepower underneath yeah. them. And I'm not talking HP sauce here. <laughs> yeah, none of that. But yeah, yeah, that would just suck them in. He would have to go pretty fast to get out of the air intake. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway. Oh. But like, but like, at least, come on, Rick. At least give this man. A, 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 a classic American muscle car, like a 68 or 69 Camaro or Mustang. But you know what, though? In a weird kind of flowery, hippie way, this is probably the best way to do it. Yeah. Because he's not wasting gas. Right, right. He it was... fuels up maybe once. Yeah. <laughs> it pays like 10 cents <laughs> yeah. like, to yeah. go half the distance. Yeah, so this is technically genius. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Anyway, man, we've we're, we're, so many hey, times. whatever. We're gonna be stopping a lot because we have a lot invested in this one. Yes, yes. So <laughs> this might be an hour and a half long. Uh, oh, probably, upload. <laughs> probably. We have a lot to say about we this. We do. Not what I had pictured. In fact, I think I've seen babies in problems bigger than this. <laughs> <laughs> Why do people say they want to do the Route 66 thing? Am I meant to enjoy it now whilst I'm doing it, or is it something you appreciate after? Do you know what I mean? Like a lot of things in life. I mean, in a way, even though I'm, I'm sort of eager to have fruit and I'd love to have an orange, I never really enjoy the orange. I'm always happy to get to the end when you can wash your hands. I get sick of it running down your arm. I, I, I tend to eat them in the bath. Hi, boy. I thought I'd arrange a little break from the road. I know you are uh, into your, your body popping and, you know, singing and a little donkey and that when you're younger. So I thought you'd fit right in with the latest thing in a dance craze in America at the moment. Um, it's called Glee. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. All right, boys. See you later. Yeah. Oh, God. Did you ever watch Glee? I think by accident once. Yeah. And... I could tolerate it enough until the first commercial break. And then I'm like, 
I'm good. Yeah, yeah, just the murdering classic songs like that in like some high school drama bullshit. It, it should stay in high school. Yeah, it should. It doesn't need to. Anyway, my high school's theater department couldn't get enough of Glee. Oh, and the show. I, the show, yeah, and tried to make their own Glee club, which failed miserably. Yeah. So it. it oh God. This is going to be terrible. I just know it. Out of everything he could see. Yeah. Glee. Yeah. I'm shattered. Do you know what I mean? And now I've got to turn into Lionel Blair. He's going to a... Just like that. High uh, school. Ha! Ha! That's it. That's it. Good, 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 good. Okay, do go. Go like this. He! He! Yes. Now you see you're using your diaphragm. That's good, Carl. I think you can sing. That's so good. Get the dancers in. No, I'm gone. No, no, wait, uh, I... wait. <laughs> Don't bring the sing dancers in yet. Honestly, I need to. Okay, know okay. It's just that you know, like in two hours or so, you're going to be performing it. it... Um, you just want to do the dancing. Well, it sort of makes sense if I just do the dancing, because that's what the crowd can see. The singing, they're not going to be hearing my voice. Carl, your facial expressions, and remember... Smile. Oh, it's going to be so much fun. It's not fun for everyone, is it? She was going to see you having fun. No, not really, no. No, I'm not. But is it just an American thing? Do they have fun better than us? They do. The word fun annoys ah. me. Someone says, you're coming around having some fun. No, I, uh, I don't know, actually. I don't want fun. It's a word I just don't use. And she goes over. Yeah, yeah. Oh! <laughs> that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. That's very good. It's not my sort of thing, singing and dancing. We've got enough singers and dancers anyway in the country. Why we still have Pop Idol and X Factor? Everyone's singing. I mean, this is a school. Look at them. They're not doing English and maths. Where's the doctors? The plumbers? When I had a problem with my boiler, I had to wait two weeks because no plumbers are out. They need someone to come around and sing and dance. Loads of them. But we've got enough. <laughs> That's so true. I haven't got a taste for it, honestly. This isn't like a big life-changing moment. Oh, Carl's finally found his destiny. I, I don't want to do this. <laughs> I love that. He's like cra he's like crashing the moment. <laughs> what are they singing? I don't know. I've never been that embarrassed. Do you know how I always say to you that you give me anxiety dreams? I panic and stuff because of the things you set up. And that time when I had a dream about being in a toilet and you opened the door and every, there was a big audience looking at me having a shit. It was exactly the same feeling I had in my dream as that. I just wanted to wake up and for it to go away. It was shocking. And the weird thing about that dream, it's not particularly sort of Freudian or <laughs> symbolic, right, as an anxiety dream. Because I often open the door <laughs> when you're having a shit. So, yeah, yeah, that's true, actually. So, yeah. <laughs> it's, quite, it's quite a justified that's, shit. That's normal. Have a great time, man. I'll see you soon. All right. Dude. That, is, that was so painful to watch. Yeah. It, it, it looked like... Uh, it looked exactly... Like what it was, yeah. Like, it, it, like, it, it it was it was yeah. Hey, let's take a a a Brit and put him in, and a I'm, high school Glee show. That's exactly what it looked like. Yeah, <laughs> we don't really don't do that anymore. Like, <laughs> we we do have the yo know, musicals at 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 high schools. Like yeah. I've been in, I was in the high school musicals uh, my junior and senior years. Really? And, yeah, and cool. I will I will. It's one of the reasons I'll never do theater again because. So many catty bitches in there. Oh well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's why I stayed away from it. Yeah, yeah. Right? Oh, and, and also because I have no talent. But 
the main thing is them. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, I couldn't take the toxicity of it. No, it, it, it's, it's terrible. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> Carl. <laughs> you got him, Ricky. You got him. You just got to stretch your legs when you've been sat in a car all day. What? What is that? What the hell? Hello? 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 Jesus. What's it all about? Is it one man who's done this, or is it is it a touristy thing and you're meant to bring a bottle and stick one on when you're here? I think it's just one guy's house. He's got a serious drink problem, whatever it is, isn't he? <laughs> I mean, to be honest, it's scary that he's not in, because where is he? What is he doing? What is he... Do what, what's the... What is his life like? I don't know what I'm meant to get from it. I don't know if it's proving a point or if he's just a scruffy bastard. <laughs> See, this is what they mean, isn't it, about it's not worth doing recycling back in Britain. Because <laughs> there's me with my Marmite jar and my milk bottle and what have you. But if he's doing this, what's the point? <laughs> I just always think about when it's time to move and you've got to sell your place. His, his target sort of market, there's not many people who would want this in the front garden. No one's going to turn up and go, do you know what, this is what I've been looking for. Two bedrooms, we're after that. Load of shit in the garden. <laughs> oh, nice next to a train. I got a text from Steve, and he says this part of Route 66 goes through like the the old hippie area. So he just wants me to stop off and meet Valerie. She's into new age healing therapy. Oh my God, it's Enjoy. the lady from the pyramid, I bet. Yes. Was that just shouting my name? Hello? Carl? <laughs> Hello? Hello? Valerie? Hello, I'm Carl. Carl. Nice to meet nice you. See you. Did you just shout my name? No, she may have. That's Kiwi. It's not doing it now. So you're a shaker? I'm a what? You're a shaker? Are you a hugger? Uh. You want a hug? No, this is all right. This all is right. good. All I've right. just met you. Come in. All right. <laughs> what? Hello. Hi. Yeah. This is Clyde. A lot of us are, are uh, like, I don't know now. Yeah, not now. Not now. What? Why do you make the whole interaction awkward? Are you a hugger or a shaker? Like, I'm human. He's I'm, a... I am a human. That's what hippie-type people are. They're they're all lovey-dovey. And, like, it, you might have to get used to that with uh, when we do the Reggae Rise Up Fest. Yeah. A la huggy, lovey-dovey hippies. Yeah, and then the next day I'll just go to a gun range and, like, get it off. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> like, I don't know, but that's just a weird... Are you a hugger or a shaker? Like, I am Daniel. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Are you human? Yeah. Jesus. Clive. This is Clive. Carl. Hello. This is what we call the sandbox. This is Carl. Hey, Carl. Hey. This is our beanbag hangout. What? And it's held space for a lot of really beautiful gatherings, a lot of connecting. Would you like to see inside? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Want, yeah. This is where we'll be gathering tonight. Who will be? Could be 15 or 20 people. It's called Cuddle Party. Have you heard of Cuddle Party? Uh, <laughs> but hang on. I, yeah? I haven't been here long, but I've walked past four blokes, I one know. woman. Yes. So how does that work? They're coming. There'll be more women. <laughs> you don't want to cuddle any men? <laughs> well, I don't want to cuddle strangers, really. Probably going to start at 8. So you and I probably need to go and put our pajamas on. Why have I got to wear pajamas? Because look, I, I am so comfy now. I've got shorts on. They're nice and baggy. I'm getting air to my legs. Well, I'm relaxed. I think I'm going to encourage you to push yourself and put on some PJs. <laughs> Again, this is see... this is the first thing that you yeah that you don't do 
when you're in in the in the United States desert, uh huh, d- strip down wear, <laughs> wear shoes. Yes, all the always time. wear shoes, it, closed toe shoes. This is not the UK. We have shit that will kill you. Yeah, rattlesnakes, <laughs> rattlesnakes, scorpions, like. Poisonous spiders. Yeah, uh, out uh, out in the west part in the desert, like that's what we're talking. Like New York City. Uh, yeah, the, you, they're, could, you could do that. They're people be, that do this. Yeah, the the, the <laughs> people that do do that. <laughs> yeah. So, so, but out there in the desert, yeah, no. Yeah, don't do that. No. Don't do that. <laughs> Uh, but it wouldn't be an idiot or product episode if we didn't see Carl shirtless. Yeah, what the hell is with that? That's just, anyway. <laughs> cool. What do you want to do, Carl? I want to drive down Route 66. All right, then. What are we doing? I'm keeping my hat on. I don't want to look too <laughs> relaxed, because then it looks like I am up for anything. <laughs> but this is saying... I knew round here. Is there any part of you that thinks you might learn something from it? No. I don't, I don't think there is. Jinx. Yep. Touch can be very healing, and sometimes things come up we don't expect. So that means that if you are cuddling and you become aroused, that's okay. That's a beautiful thing to acknowledge, oh. speak with your partner. You can excuse yourself and have grapes. Again, it's about using have your voice, grapes? communicating, right? Grapes. We do get questions here about erections, and they do happen from time to time. There's a level of discomfort, and what we're aiming for here is to be comfortable with that, to be able to dialogue, to be able to talk about what to do. do would you like to hug? You, you're not ready to hug me yet? Oh, come on. Because I think we're getting on without it. We're fine. Can I hug you? Will you hug me? Uh, yes. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> hey, Jackson. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Thank God. I've, I've all, honestly, it's nothing against you. Okay. I haven't hugged uh, Valerie. You haven't hugged her? No. Oh it's all right, then. Just because I didn't want to be pushed into. I didn't know I was coming tonight. It's not like I came and I knew what was going on. I can't hug you now. Because then Valerie will be going, hang on a minute. Oh, my God, are you making that up? Yeah, I know, Valerie you, wouldn't care. It, She'd be so happy you changed your mind. I would be happy that you said yes to what you want to say yes to. And no, no. What you want to I'm say telling yes. you, it would bother you. Inside, you'd be, you'd be going, what is going oh, on? Oh, dear one. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> How long does this go on for this? <laughs> yeah. so we're gonna go to are people paying to be here? Right, that's what it's... That's what you get when you drive a smart car into a hippie area. Yeah, yeah. This doesn't happen in all of America. Like, <laughs> I mean, we've hugged before. Yeah, like, but, it's, but it's, like, it's it's friendship. It's, it's happens. Not, I don't go. I don't have to outsource hugs. Right. I don't right. have to go somewhere to hug. Right, right. You don't have to pay somebody for it, like a professional cuddler. But I mean, that's what you get. You drive a smart car around. Uh, you're gonna be hugged. Yeah, yeah, that's what's gonna happen. <laughs> uh, Ricky did this by design. Dude. Ricky's being a because because he know Carl is not gonna. He's not do, that. Yeah, yeah. He, he we know what he's not. He's not a uh big. He's a big personal space guy. Uh huh. And he's definitely not a a bungee jumper. He's not. No. He <laughs> doesn't all. like to go out of his comfort zone. Those, those two things. I know that Carl is not. Yeah. So. <laughs> God, love it. It's about then. So of course she's going to say, yeah, cuddle's good for you. Of course, she's doing the cell job to us. She's not going to go, it's a lot of old bollocks, this. But don't tell <laughs> anyone. But good on her. I always think, don't have a go at people for coming up with a business venture. But, you know, she went on the Dragon's Den. This wouldn't happen in England. This wouldn't, wouldn't work. But in America, they love all this shit. Uh-oh. How would you feel if I scooted up behind you to spoon you? Would that be okay? Well, that's worse than a cuddle. That is a cuddle. That's more, that's more than a cuddle, that. What if I put my back to you and I face the other way? Well, that's all right, because that's just because we're all... It's crowded. Touching like that, that's just that's just like being on a tube. But you don't touch people on the tube. You do. In London, you do. It's a nightmare in rush hour. Really? 
you'd love it. <laughs> All right. That's enough fun for me, anyway. You want to go down there? No, I'm gonna. I've got to get going because the traffic's. What? <laughs> oh, traffic. Traffic. No, what be there. traffic. Traffic in the fucking desert, bro. I love that. Uh, uh, traffic. Rush hour. He's just finding any excuse to get out of this. That like he is not comfortable at all. This is what is making this for me. <laughs> That's making me uncomfortable. Like, oh, dude. I don't care, man. I'll just I'll go with whatever. I'm just like, oh, you yeah, know, the traffic rush hour right now is terrible. Trust uh -huh. me, I know. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> my, my favorite excuse for getting out of something is I gotta go pet my cat. Yeah, yeah, or if, or I have diarrhea. <laughs> I have diarrhea. <laughs> it's just, uh, everyone's like, all right, yeah, yeah, good. yeah, we're good. Yeah, yeah go. A bit of a uh, tourist attraction. Might as well have a look. No else happening, is there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Big fish in a small pond. <laughs> yeah. Sign says it's, it was an anniversary present. Bloke who built it. Built it for his wife. Odd gift, isn't it? And then the problem is, he did this. What do you get next year? You're just making yourself a bigger problem. <laughs> Susanna always says it's not about the gift. She says it's the thought and everything. You, you never go out of your way to get me something, you know, different. She says she's always given me hints, but I don't hear her. Do you know what I mean? She sort of says, oh, I've told you I've wanted this, I've told you I wanted that. You never listen. And then she gets fed up. That's the thing, you see. About America, all that positive thinking and stuff, she has positive thinking. She thinks, right, I've told him I want a new ring or a pair of earrings, he'll get it me. And she has that positive thinking about it. But the problem with positive thinking, when it doesn't, doesn't, when it doesn't happen, you get negative. And most of the time, it doesn't happen. So she, she, she's pissed off most of the time. <laughs> Typical guy response. Yep. <laughs> that yep. is both sides the pond there. Yeah. <laughs> Even with our optimistic thinking, like yeah. we're still guys. We're still guys. Well, she won't want this anyway. <laughs> Carl, uh, just let you know this part of Route 66 uh, takes you through the old Wild West, where a gold rush happened. Uh, back in the past and so uh, we've arranged for you to spend some time with a modern day gold prospector all right he's going to take you to his mine and you'll know you'll be you'll be uh, searching for gold and obviously you know the old rule find his keepers so you know dig well search well and uh good luck to you all right bye looking for gold be good i'll get suzanne some she's good because she'll be impressed with that present and it's free, so we're both happy. Is this like a proper trailer park? Looks like it. I've heard of these. <laughs> I mean, I lived in a tiny flat in London, but it was still a bit bigger than that. <laughs> that is ridiculous. You can wash up whilst you're in bed. Do you know what would annoy me with that? If someone comes and you don't want to answer the door, they know you're in, don't they? <laughs> There's nowhere to hide there. <laughs> See, these are all right. These are like what we used to stay in in Wales. I, quite, I think I'd be happy with this. Because you just always feel like you're on holiday. <coughs> Joe. Hey, how's it going? Hey, I'm Carl. I'm Carl. Nice to you? meet you, man. That's, you right? Yeah, nice to that's, meet you. Yeah, how you doing? That's, that's, that's pretty much who, who you expect. Yeah, that kind of guy. Strapped. Look at him. He's strapped. Two, he's two, he's carrying. Two six shooters. Uh-huh. Yep. <laughs> like, <laughs> that has to be the stereotypical Trail Park American right there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> handlebar mustache, smoking a cigarette. Uh-huh. Two guns. 
Oh, uh, more cars that don't run than cars that run. Yeah, it, it like this is like the low lower income trailer trash of United States. This is the working class. This man feels every time the wind blows in yeah. his house. Yes, and yeah, yeah, dude, dude. All right, there we go. Yeah, just a bit. Oh, you wanted to find some gold? Yeah. I wouldn't mind getting some from my girlfriend. She always expects a gift when I go. Oh, yeah, I bet. Maybe you could find something to take back to her, man. We'll go take my truck, and we'll go find some gold back there. All right. I bet you're uh, interested in getting into a mine, huh? How's that sound? That sounds good. Sounds good. Yeah. Pretty good pickup, huh? Yeah. Well, you've never been up hills like these, huh? Not driving. Well, this will be an experience for you. Oh, Jesus. Oh, get out. Ah! Hell yeah! Slow down a bit here. Slow oh. down. Oh, yeah! Get out. Jesus. Oh. You like that, huh, Carl? It's in all the way. Oh. It's proper man for that. And that's his commute. Every day. Why'd they put him in the this back, bro? To give him the, the proper experience. <laughs> like that's the shittiest place in that thing. Oh, it's a it's a it's a two door four seater. Yeah. <laughs> Every time he went over the over a hill, I just <laughs> you saw me. I was like, hell yeah, like yeah. Stone Cold Steve yeah. Austin. Hell yeah. Yeah, but they did it wrong. They needed beer. They needed some beer. <laughs> just <laughs> let it go. Uh, oh. <laughs> just, yeah, hold my beer. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> Like that. <laughs> and that's the uh, bottom line, because ETS-21 said so. <laughs> this is an uh, example of the explosion that we would get, you know, to open up a new tunnel. You can uh, try to shoot this target here. Come on up here on the this little road right here and see how good you can do on this one here, Carl. All right, everybody. Will it get a bit further back? Because this seems close to me. No, gonna... you're fine. You're fine. <laughs> you sure? Oh, I'm positive. If anything comes towards you, I'll jump in front of it. <laughs> there we go. Just take your time and be be at ease. You're you're fine. Safe distance. Is it going to be loud? No, nah, not too loud. Fucking, it was loud. Oh, I thought you were talking about the explosion. No, I meant this. <laughs> oh, yeah. Jesus. No, yeah. I just need. A, have you got another one? This for a coconut. Ah, uh, a little bit. Few inches too high. Rack too high. That one was in. too high. Fast. Aim fast. Aim it on there and do it. Breathe. Breathe. Do it. Fucking hell. There you go, Carl. You got it. That's hot. Yeah, that's hot. Did you like that, Carl? It's a good feeling, isn't it? Yeah. Uh -huh. It's a good stress release. <laughs> they used to play on these all the time. At the fair. And we had to. At a dartboard. It's like a bit of paper in the middle and a star on it. He used to always win coconuts. I don't know why it was always coconut. No, not at all. It was useless. I don't know why they always... That's the only time you see them, innit? You can't see them in supermarkets and stuff. You need a coconut. You've got to go to the fair. We'll let you light one this time. We are... <laughs> I love how he said, like, that's a good feeling right there. Yeah, when after, he... like... <laughs> he, like, had a panic attack. He was like, oh... Oh yeah, okay, fuck yeah. Yeah, it's it, it's like when 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 I was at when I was at your house one time and you 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 uh, let me use your uh, pe your pellet <laughs> gun. Pellet gun, yeah. Yeah, yep. I'm like, I, and I started hitting yeah. targets. I'm like, hell yeah. It's like okay, it's like a it's like a weird, just basic, have a target. We'll shoot it. Yeah, like it's a weird. It's a very animalistic like. Yeah. Good feeling. That, that's what it is. Yeah. yeah, that's why we love guns in this country. <laughs> yeah, we like the ones that go boom. Yeah, the louder boom, the better it is. Mm -hmm. Try to stick it in that crack right there and see if we can blow that whole mountain up, huh? 
Is he serious? Blowing that up? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Get behind me. How long do you reckon? Oh. Any any second now. Say ten seconds. Count down, Carl. Ten. Nine. Eight. Oh. Uh, you only got to what? To eight, huh? <laughs> you feel the, the compression through the air? Sucks your ears. Yeah, it kinda kinda relaxing though, isn't it, to do that? Not really. <laughs> no. <laughs> Is that your idea of fun round here? Uh it used to be, but I got blown up a while back. Seriously? Yeah, seriously. I like the way you tell me that now. <laughs> yeah. Go on back back there, Carl. That way we can find some good pieces of ore. I don't is it worth going further down? Well, you don't know till you get there. Never wanted to work down a pit. You just don't want to scream or yell. Just keep watching for snakes. What about spiders? Oh, spiders. There's spiders anywhere. I can't be doing Like cave spiders? How big are they? What's that there? There's a bat. What? <laughs> <laughs> don't do that. What'd you call me? <laughs> <laughs> I felt safe with him. It's like, even if it did all cave in, I reckon he'd be able to get me out. It was like having Desperate down with me. One hand right here. Yeah. One hand right here. Yeah. Kind of tilt it down. You want to shake it like this. Went looking for gold. Didn't find any. Now you take it. So it's, it's not looking good for Suzanne's present. That's what we're relying on, really. Yeah. I'm after something bigger, though. I oh, yeah. Something like that. Yeah, me too. I, I like Joe, though. He had his vest on, ready for action. Three guns, a rifle. We're only having a barbecue. <laughs> what was your other uh, rest of your trip oh, like? Went to a cuddle party. Couple parties, huh? Cuddle. A cuddle party? Mm. What the hell's that? <laughs> Meet up in a tent with a load of strangers and have a hug. That's a new one on me. <laughs> Told both you. Were women. They're both. Uh. <laughs> That's been one good thing actually about Route 66. It is a good um, sort of road to listen to music on. They're all a bit depressing. The songs are like, but good stories. Pinball Wizard. I've never understood that one. That's deaf, dumb and blind kid playing pinball. I just always think, did he even know he was playing pinball? He's got no senses there. Deaf, deaf dumb and blind kid sure plays the mean pinball or something. He's no idea what he's doing. If you're deaf, dumb and blind, you have no idea. It's a waste of money uh, sort of putting it in the pinball machine. Could have just given some buttons to it. He's no idea what he's doing. Walk miles. <laughs> Tree to have a piss at. That's, it's not for me, that is it? That isn't the next thing Ricky and Steve have got me. That's what I wanted. That's what I had in my head. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, Roy. Um, stop moaning about the little car I got you now. <laughs> got you something bigger. All right. Always trying to please. If you're happy, I'm happy. Oh shit! All right. Uh oh. See you later. All right. Oh. Ronnie. Yeah. All right, Ronnie. Hell yeah. This fucking thing. It's embarrassing. <laughs> Happens every time. <laughs> Neat, Ronnie. Do we get to park a tire on this thing? Hard looking bloke. Nice. Yeah. You know, he had tattoos nice. on his legs. For me, that's when you know someone's hard. Not not the poncy ones either, not like Latin and all that, or, uh, you know, that sort of Robbie Williams style thing. <laughs> Just like hey, Robbie Williams. Is the only way in? Only way in. Doesn't use aftershave, smells like WD-40. <laughs> Fucking hell! <laughs> Fucking hell! Fucking hell. You wanna, you wanna go try this now? No, forget it. No? 
No. You don't want you, you don't want to go for a ride. No, not huh? not, not, with, not without a proper seat, Jamie. Jamie, there isn't even a proper seat. I can't get in this. Ronnie! But you're gonna. Can you hear me, Ronnie? Ronnie! Ronnie! <laughs> Right, that's fine. Wanna try it again? No, no, you're all right, Ronnie. <laughs> it's no, I mean, look at the size of it. And yeah, it's only room for one man in it. It makes no sense. It's not a monster truck, it's just monster wheels. It's big wheels. And that doesn't add anything to a car. I don't buy a car on the size of the wheels. <laughs> it had a monster glove compartment, that's more useful. Look at look at mine compared to that. <laughs> oh yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, oh, dude. that is uh, that is a quintessential bit of Americana. Yeah. Going to a racetrack and seeing big machines yeah. smash it, smash shit like or demo derby, that de demolition oh. derby, demolition derby. Although that's trucks. that's like that's nothing compared to what you see at at Monster Jam. No, man, I mean, that's I just like I said that 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 touches the caveman in you. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> God, we're barbaric as yeah. a society, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> but we love it. Yep. We wouldn't have it any we're other the same way. Same guys that drive that drink Starbucks. Uh huh. You know, uh -huh. You know what I mean? Like, Get the pumpkin spice latte yeah. every fall. <laughs> oh, I thought Route 66 was meant to be about freedom, but it isn't because it's really restricting. It's one road. I don't think I like that in life. I think that's why I'm not a big fan of sat-navs. Getting lost, that's a good thing in life, I think, because that's how you find new things. When Columbus was in his boat, I wonder if he was trying to find America or if he just got in the boat and went, I'm going out for a Sunday, you know, sail, <laughs> and he bumped into it and went, bloody hell, look at this I've found. I think my problem with Route 66 is... Are you in a truck? It's already laid out. I think out, so, yeah. And I'm just on it. Or a Chevy it's or something. It's not my journey, is it? Indiana. Hello, Carl Steve here. I know you're fascinated by people with different outlooks, different ways of seeing the world. We sort of had a little treat for you, spending some time with an Amish family. You know, they essentially live life like it's still the uh, 18th century. So uh, it should be interesting to see how you cope with that all of the uh, mod on. Aren't the Amish meant to be like great believers in sharing and all that, not being selfish? So this might be a good place to get Suzanne a gift <laughs> for free. Kenny. Hello. Hi, I'm Carl. Carl, nice to meet you. Nice to see you. Yeah. How are you doing today? You well? Good. Good. How about you? <laughs> so, yeah. I didn't know that there were, there were Amish out there in Indiana. Yeah. Like, mostly you see them in Pennsylvania. The Pennsylvania Dutch, as yeah. they're called. Um, but, yeah, like, they're... They come down to Annapolis and have a an Amish an Amish market where they have all these fresh fruits, vegetables, and meats and, and, and hand foods. made furniture, handmade furniture, and uh, it's very quality stuff. Um, yeah, but, I just I just wow. Yeah, be interesting to see how Carl takes to it. Yeah, not bad. It's just a little bit warm. Yeah, yeah, it's a little warm. Burning my head. And that's my dad, Laverne. Hello, Laverne. How, How are you I'm doing Carl. there? I'm... Now, come on out, girls. Ooh. You were hoping to go inside, <laughs> I bet. You have to get out of this. It's roasting. <laughs> Do you have suntan lotion? Mm. What's that? Suntan lotion. <laughs> they uh, don't know what that is. If you've got a hat, I'm happy to wear a hat or lotion, whatever's easiest. That's it. That's great. OK. okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you. All right. You want to give us a hand? Yeah, yeah, I'm happy to. You want to remove your shoes, go barefoot, and get a treatment? No barefoot. Oh, I don't grow anything at home. And you get all your produce from someone else. Yeah. Yeah. Get it delivered. Yeah. You just go on the uh, on the computer. 
<laughs> tick boxes, six eggs, bread, beans. They just deliver it to your house. Oh, really? Yeah. I'd, I'd say the kids are the biggest difference. His kids seem a lot different than the kids you see at home. They seem like kids. Uh, kids that age at home, they're pushing the pram with a fag on. <laughs> yeah. Everything's in a rush now, isn't it, at home? Everyone wants to be an adult. And they want to skip being a kid. Is that, I love being a kid. I loved it. Best years of my life, playing out on my bike. What about relaxing? Do you know, like, a, you see, I, I don't read that much, so it's hard to think, but say, like, a James Bond, say, Doctor No, or something like that, would you ever read something like that, or can't you relate to it? Like a, like a what? James Bond? James Bond. Like you a... James Bond? Seriously? Seriously, I, I'm not, uh, uh... <laughs> is it kind of a mystery? No, he's, a, he's like a British agent. He's a, you know, undercover. He solves crime and he's been around for ages. Come on in. Thanks a lot. Out of the, out of the sun. A little bit cooler now. Oh, that's here. nicer now, though, isn't it? Good news, Polly. Hi there. Hey, you want to take a can with you? Um, I know, I just was thinking about my girlfriend, because she always expects a present when I've been away. Oh, sure. Oh, okay. I'm thinking peas, peas are fine. <laughs> uh, she's not going to like these because she's... She's not that fussy no. with peas. Honestly, they're like garden peas. Yeah, they are, but they're, they're not... They're kind of mushy. She likes mushy they peas. <laughs> OK. Mushy peas, that's the thing we have in England, mushy peas okay. with fish and chips. That is fine and it's a good size. Is that okay? Sure, that's okay. sure, yeah, that's okay. It's kind of like a What are all these guys standing around trying to... Good one wants to go out. You've got to admire them, haven't you? Really happy with the most simplest of things. I had to sort of, you know, be chuffed about some peas. And I know Suzanne, she probably won't be happy with that. She'll have her face on. <laughs> she knows I was going in a gold mine, didn't she? She'll be thinking she's getting a new necklace when I go home. <laughs> she's not going to be happy. But I'll say, listen, stop your whinging. The Amish don't moan about it. And But whilst you're at it, get in the garden. Sort stuff out. <laughs> get off your arse. That's the thing, eh? They, they do graft hard, don't they? And have you noticed? I've seen a few Amish knocking about. None of them are fat. Because they're all out and about doing stuff. They're out in the open air. They're not eating crap. They're growing their own stuff. I mean, they've got it right. It's just the beard that's daft. <laughs> yeah. I don't think I could pull off a beard quite like you, though. What's that? I don't think I suit a beard. Come on, guys. Come on, boy. Man, that's the thing about Amish. It's like, they, to a fault, will live like it's in there in the 18th century. Yep. <laughs> they make some dank food, but, do. my God. I couldn't live like that. <sighs> I need yeah. internet connection. Well, if 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 you never knew anything about that, right? You could, you could technically do it. Yeah. Technically. Mm -hmm. it, I mean, it's hard to know what you're missing out on if you don't ever have it. Right. Right. Could I? Could I? Uh, convert to being Amish now? No, I couldn't do it. No, I couldn't do it. Uh. Uh. There's this there's this tribute band that plays around uh, the mid Atlantic called Amish Outlaws. Yeah, what is that? They're apparently they're a bunch of former Amish that like w one day out of the when they turn eighteen or something they're allowed Springer. to go out into the world and if they want to live that kind of life they can if they want to come back they could come back yep. and they all stayed out and uh, formed a band <laughs> formed a, a a rock band to play. Covers. Yeah, I guess if we're going to go out and, and fight the establishment, yeah, that's the way to go. Exactly. <laughs> they're a fun band. I've seen them once or twice. And Are they good? Yeah, they're good. They're good. Um, shout out to them. Hey. Uh, <laughs> I think moaning's good for you. It makes you feel alive, a good moan, a good rant. So that's why I couldn't live in America. Because everyone thinks you should be happy. It's all about living the dream. If you're living the dream, how do you know you're awake or if you're asleep? Yeah. If it's exactly the same, that's what I quite like. I quite like having bad dreams. You wake up and you go, oh, thank God for that. If your dreams are better than your life, what is the point? Your dreams should never be better than your real life. That's quite poetic right there. Quite. 
quite. Yeah. Quite. Brings us right hurling back down to reality. Yeah. Gotta love it. Yeah. I, I, it, it's it's a good thought. Yeah. It's an interesting thought. Yeah. yeah. How do you know if it's a dream if you're... It, how do you know you're awake if it's a dream? Yeah. Hmm. Unless you're a sloth. Because then they're asleep a lot, aren't they? Got a text from Steve. He says, um, we understand you are getting a little bit bored of driving, so we have arranged a flight for you to see the end of Route 66 uh -oh. from above. I'm not a big fan of flying. He knows that. I've got to meet this bloke called Greg. Look at that thing, man. That's Greg? Yep. Looking. Hey, Greg. How are you? Like I'm uh, about to do something I'm not looking forward to. You want to go flying? You see, I've never, I've never been in a plane that's open. That's open? Yeah, I sort well, of you... have that fear of wind hitting against me, not well, being able to breathe. You're not going to get to ride in the seat that much. You're going to ride up on top of the wing. That'd be your best view. Uh-oh. <laughs> in the intro. That's the last part of the intro. Oh, my God. Oh, this God. is this episode. All right. Oh, here we go. Here oh we go. God. He's gonna hate it. Sick of it. No one seems to care. No need to do this these days. There's loads of cheap airlines. You can get a seat for a quid. Here I am. Standing on a wing. You gotta grab hold of these. Remember, I'm gonna be high up. You gotta grab hold of these. Pull yourself up. Put your foot there. Well, hang on. So put your foot there. Look how tight it is here. You can't put your foot on that. You can't put your foot on that. It's like playing Twister. There's all these sharp things I keep catching myself on. These nuts and bolts. <laughs> I'm not doing it, Jamie. Forget it. You've seen that I've tried. I don't have to do all this. It was Route 66 was the idea of the whole thing. He's like, always making me look like a knob. Who have ever got to wear this, really? Spider-Man at a funeral. Huh? I'm not doing it. What do you mean? I told you at the beginning. I said, it's Route 66. We had a chat. You talked about bungee jumping and all that other daft stuff. I said, I don't want to do any of that. I look like a right fucking knobhead. And there's an old... It's not even a new plane, Ricky. It's a really old one. We sat in your office. What's your worry? Are you... What, what's your worry? Is it safety? Yeah. It, honestly, it's an old... But, Carl, this would look great. This would be a great ending to the, to the show when you're on there on a wing... Oh, just whizzing along. But this you isn't... Do it. You... No, because this is my bucket list. You'll be a hero. No. No. love this. No. <laughs> I thought you'd chicken out. So it's not chickening out. I've got some house. You are... Ah, you are? No, it's ah. not It's not chickening out. Ah. So, um, I've got some house arranged for you. So, OK. Well, do that instead then, mate. All right, then where is it? What, 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 what? It's no scarier than dancing with glee. Trust me. But he does involve getting on stage again. Oh. And remember, okay? Oh. You've got to do one or the other. If you don't join in and get on stage, you've got to do the wing walk. Where am I? Yeah. This is International Mr. Leather contest. Oh. Uh. Annual International Mr. Leather in Chicago. Okay, now. Forget it. I'm, I'm not getting on stage wearing that. <laughs> oh! <laughs> so this man would rather risk his life on a wing than strip down and dance to some techno with uh, whatever, just barely covering him. Yeah. I mean, it's cool. I, I I thought he would have at least wanted to be in a Ramstein music video, but right? I guess not. <laughs> I guess he wants to do this. Cool. <laughs> oh shit! No way! No way! <laughs> oh my god! Oh. 
That was beautiful. That last scene was just beautiful. <laughs> like, either or. Uh, mm. Alright, let me see. I'll go on the airplane. Oh my god. <laughs> he cares more about his dignity than his, his own life. Is you know, <laughs> yes. Oh. <laughs> This was awesome. That was great. Man. It was great to see Carl uh, just kind of get into the worst of the worst of our country. I mean, I mean the 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 monster truck yeah. and the plane were definitely bits of Americana that we could fuck with, but yep. the Glee Club, the yeah, the cuddle party, the the, um, the, the, the mining, like you don't meet those guys. You yeah. don't meet the cuddle party, and you don't meet the the gold. Digger, right? The, uh, the, 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 the sorry, miner, uh, gold miner, not the gold digger. Yeah, because there's what, a bunch of those. Not what old Kanye uh, rapped about <laughs> yeah. in the 2000s yeah, before that, he went crazy. There's a bunch of those, but uh, uh, what are they called? Shit, it was on there, not excavators. What are they called? Oh my god, anyway, gold miners, yeah, yeah, whatever, for lack of the, the proper word. It'll come to me as soon as we, we cut the camera off, but um, <laughs> it was interesting, it was interesting, like, yeah. I had this one circled, and it delivered. Oh, yeah. This yeah. is great. This is, you know, it, and for me, they only went a little bit of it. 66. Yeah. They didn't go. Right. Because right. on the Russia trip, he went all the way fucking across. Right, the right, right. So, I don't know. Maybe uh, on the eighth episode of this series, uh, they'll show some uh, stuff that was on the cutting room floor. That'd be cool. That'd yeah. be cool. That'd be interesting. Yeah. But, but yeah, man. This was great. This is awesome. Yep. Thanks for liking, commenting, subscribing, hitting that bell, and sharing with your friends. Definitely, guys. Until next time, wash your hands, scrub your toes, wipe your ass, blow your nose, embrace the suck. And unplug and do epic shit. See y'all next time. Later.